last year when I got here, it was more of a earn the kids respect phase. I let them know exactly what I want. Last year, uh, we didn't really know what to expect. Um, you know, a fresh new start. We were, we were getting used to him. His workouts, we were most certainly getting acclimated to the workout. From day one, man, it was, he just always brought a lot of energy, a lot of fun. He made workouts way more exciting. It's pretty well said that the greatest gift a man or anyone can give you is their respect. So that was a year process and I feel like that happened. We knew what we were going to get out of him. Um, he knew what he was going to get out of us. Now we're here, we're working. You know what to expect from him. You know what kind of energy he gives off. It's just, you're more familiar so you can you can just work hard. And I feel like now we're, we're working with a purpose, you know. Every detail was, it didn't have to be as coached as last year. It was just different with the way the kids came in, the attitude, the look they had, the expectation they had. It was it was all just improved from last year. Oh yeah, every, everybody numbers going up. Uh, it's, cra it's crazy how, how, how much they're going up. Really, numbers jumping like 20, 30 pounds on bench, uh, bench pressing. This past few months, I've seen a lot of people with a, a lot stronger. You know, people that you usually work out when you max out, you kind of know their numbers, and now they're maxing out, and they're surprising you. Like, the numbers are, you're getting respectable numbers are jumping off the charts, and it's good to see that people are putting their work and they're getting their results. We focused a lot on bench and squat this winter, and a lot of numbers went up, but body fat also went down. Uh, every body weight test that we did, push-up, pull-up, it all increased by an incredible amount. It was it was kind of crazy to see how dudes change their bodies, and like uh, I lost 15 pounds and dropped like two or three percent body fat, and my numbers went up and. I think that was all the way across the board, and he showed us the, the total numbers for like a bench press for the whole team, and it was kind of like big, significant numbers, so it's really exciting. Like, have you ever seen our, our before pictures like that we took in January and the ones we took a few weeks ago? Man, people just, ugh, you know? But more importantly, the camaraderie, the, the, the team chemistry, we're pulling together right now, and that, that was on the back of our training shirt. So th that's more important than any number that we could have is the, the team feel that we have right now, the closeness. My job is to make sure this thing is very, very exciting, different, there's a ton of variety. Coach Lou always cooks up something fun for us to do. And we had a lift called Sledding with the Cajuns. We were out there and just pushing sleds, pulling sleds, we had to put like, I can't remember, it was just like, it was a lot of, I don't know, it was just a lot of weight on the sled and he had us pulling it while he was on it. I feel like nothing will ever take the place of the uh, PTH. Man, that's just, that's just a whole different beast within itself right there. Uh, the Mardi Gras Massacre, that, that was the hardest one I ever did. It was nothing, it was like a lot of legs and just just destroying your lower body. The mat room, you know, we, we know we have eight stations, but you don't know what you're going to do and how you're going to do it and you don't know how, last, how long it's going to last. And, I feel like that's gonna really see what guys at for us conditioning wise. Usually Friday morning is like our, our grind day where we do some um, super unrealistic thing that might <laughs> that might put in our head as unrealistic, but when we do it we feel a sense of relief, like okay, we got it done. It's a lot of stuff that you do with Coach Lou you wouldn't expect that he pushes you to your limits and past your limits and it's it's fun. From touching the line to keeping their locker clean. Everything was night and day from a year ago. You know, the players knew that we had the best interest at heart, and they felt it, and their heart is what we got.